Monster Jam Steel Titans 2 is here, and we are going to jump right in to career mode. And I, I'm not sure. I think this is going to be kind of like what Monster Jam Steel Titans 1 was in terms of career. Like just going around the, the you know, different stadiums and stuff. But I think career mode should be a mix. So let's, uh, oh. Oh, maybe this is like racing in all the different locations. All right, so complete the story to unlock new chapters. Chapter 1, jump start. So we have to finish third or better. We'll leave it on hard. Um, why not? Uh, starters. I don't think we have any anything else unlocked. So I despise this truck. I think it's ugly. So I'm going to go with uh, just this basic one. All right, so I guess we are doing, I mean, I'm I'm totally unsure what career mode is at this point. It looked like we were gonna be doing like point to point racing almost, and now we're in an arena. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take down Dragon if we can. Not really uh, any upgrades, too much upgrade. I think there are some upgrades to the truck, but nothing too, uh, too crazy. Man, I feel like in the first one, that that car that we just clipped would have sent it flying. But again, the, the trucks are pretty grounded this time around, it feels like. A little bit more realistic in terms of, in terms of physics. We don't have that bar up top anymore uh, to really see where we're at. All right, so apparently we lost to Dragonoid. <laughs> I, th I totally thought that we won, but apparently we lost by like less than half a second. Um, and they went to the final and lost to Blue Thunder. So congratulations to Blue Thunder. We did not get those points. Let's keep going. Next event is the freestyle. And again, I, th I totally thought that this was going to involve, uh, you know, point to point racing. But I guess uh, I guess career the career mode is just a little different in terms of the story. All right, freestyle. This is where the updated physics are going to come into play. Again, it's not like super different, but the trucks definitely feel a little bit more weighted. It's a definite improvement in terms of driving from the first one. That's for sure. And you can tell even when you're doing donuts and, you know, you get a little crazy with the speed going around circles, the truck might start to do like a it look like freestyle dancing. Um, spinning on our head type stuff and that isn't as easy to do from what i've saw so far a little sky wheelie oh oh i don't know what that was slap wheelie an actual wheelie are we getting any points for this okay i guess uh i guess so all right minute 31 let's uh let's go get some more big air actually let's do a flip off of this let's see how this works i was having trouble with this in practice okay yeah, that definitely felt a lot better in terms of the physics. Let's try to do a front flip, see how that goes. Oh, no, abort. Abort. We didn't have enough for that. This truck might not be powerful enough for the front flip. Power outs feel a little bit better. That's for sure. A little bit of another sky wheelie into an actual wheelie. Whoa. Oh, it'd be cool if you could like break a wheel or something like that. All right, we have 20 seconds. Let's see what kind of air we can get if we want to. Do we attempt it? Oh, okay. We sort of got it. That would have wrecked the uh, the skin of the truck otherwise. Let's get a donut in here. I don't think we've done that really so far. All right, so the donuts aren't as crazy as the first game, so that's good. Let that one sink in and 10.0. All right, so that's cool. So if you're watching this to just to see the gameplay, and, and how the trucks feel, I'd say that, it, again, if you're looking for a simulation, I, I mean, I don't know what you're expecting out of this. It's like, <laughs> I don't, maybe you got to go elsewhere, but it definitely feels a lot more grounded and realistic than uh, than the first one. But again, it's like Simcade, arcade style kind of stuff. Range roving, I don't know what that is. So let's, uh, let's look at the points and who, how everyone did. We got 10.0 first overall, Blue Thunder in second with a 9.3. And then uh, that's the rest of them there. Let's look at the series standings. We move up to third, moving up two spots. So that's cool with eight points. 
The standings is a little harder to read this time uh, in terms of where the points are in the moving places, but it's all good. All right, so they keep giving us practice ones. This is the real one. We got a perfect start. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're already screwing up. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, that was a, that was a little weird. We like slid through the water. We can still make this up though. Again, you have the boosts on these kind of races, so uh, that kind of stuff isn't available in the. Oh man, someone wrecked. Isn't available in the arena type stuff, but. It is in these open world events. Got to turn. Get out of the way. Uh, we got to go this way and back that way. Okay, this is weird. It just keeps making us go back and forth. Uh, all right, finally we're out of here. All right, looks like Doomsday is ahead of us in second. I recognize that one for sure. Mohawk Warriors in first. Oh boy. I was about to hit the boost, but now that was the finish. All right, so we came in third in that one. Oh, hey, Moh Mohawk Warrior. That's a cool looking truck. All right, we got four points to that one. This truck's getting upgraded pretty good. Too bad I'm never going to want to use the training truck again. All right, I guess that's the final. Uh, Blue, Thunder, <laughs> Blue Thunder won the event. We only had to place top three to advance, so uh, looks like we're advancing to the next chapter. Blue Thunder's unlocked. I will take that. That's one of, uh, that's one of the favorites for sure. Um, chapter one, you get Blue Thunder. I also unlock Salt Lake City head-to-head -head and freestyle. Uh, Range Rover and Waypoints unlocked. And it looks like that's it. So Blue Thunder, the first one, that's good to see. Got a new truck to use. I will gladly switch to that truck. All right, so Blue Thunder's in the wild card team. So again, if you didn't watch the preview previous episode where we kind of checked out the menu and everything like that, uh, there's teams with different abilities. Um, it looks like these have extra boost or larger boost meter. So let's get Blue Thunder in there. So we're out of the trainer truck. All right, so now we have Blue Thunder to work with. Excited about that to be out of the trainer truck. That's always good to see. Here's the inside view. If uh, is that something you wanted to see? Uh, which one do I like? I think it's this one. But all right, so that was chapter one. I'm, I mean, if they're all going to be that short, let's let's check out chapter two, I guess. All right, chapter two, getting schooled. Uh, we'll keep it on hard to vehicle se selection. Of course, we want to use Blue Thunder. Please give us that. It's not updated like the other truck was because we that's all we were using. All right, so this one is timed destruction. This is one that I don't believe was in the first game. At least I didn't come across of it. I think this is new. Uh, basically, you just destroy as much as you can and you get bonus points for doing it consecutively like a, uh, a combo. So uh, let's see how this goes. I haven't really done one of these before. I think I'm going to go off to the right to start to keep this all going. can get both of these with both our wheels. Oh, missed, missed what I wanted to do there. Make our way through this fence. There's balloons for some reason. Uh, let's get up here now. Are we supposed to do tricks while we do this, or is it just like a break as much as possible? I think it's just about breaking as much as possible. There's combos going there. Combo. Get more combo. We're not doing good in terms of the leaderboard. <laughs> oh, we're at number 36 combo, though, so maybe once this settles in, it'll look pretty good in terms of the points. Nope. Still not high. Uh, let's get, uh, let's get all those destroyed. That's good. Oh, we have all of these to go. Oh, man, we missed so much over here. Keep this combo going. I think as long as the combo's going, we can keep getting points. Oh, that was it. All right. Only seven. So we are... Not very good at that, so <laughs> I got to figure out how to get better to get more points than that. That might actually hurt us in the the overall standings. All right, we only got one point of that one, seventh place out of eight, and we got destroyed by higher education. Oh my goodness! All right, so this is a familiar one from the first game: two wheel skills competition. 
Uh, this one actually might be a little tougher with with the uh, updated handling model. Um, sometimes I felt like we just got a little lucky with the way everything worked. Obviously, we can get the sky wheelie to do something simple, um, but oh, let's get that in before the combo dies, please. Okay, wheelie. Just get a, our first score at least and power out of that one. All right, 8.7 for that first one. I'll take it. Oh, we didn't have enough for that. Um, we'll, we'll take it right into a wheelie, though. I'll take that. Oh, didn't have enough momentum to flip. Uh, please let that uh, finish out. There we go. And we have one more attempt here. We already got a 10.0. So let's try to get a front flip in just for the crowd. There we go. All right, you can't just do those off the wall like you used to, so that's good to know. And we'll just let it end there. All right, so three drivers got 10.0s. Uh, we only got six points out of that, so I don't know if they split those up or not, but that's that. In the standings, we move up to fourth with seven. All right, circuit racing. We got a preview of this in the uh, the first look episode. So we know what this is about. Uh, you do get special abilities like boosts and stuff. And I, why is everyone green? I don't understand why. Is that a graphical glitch? Or is this part of the game that we're supposed to know? I don't know what the green's about. And we're stuck between two trucks. We'll use a boost to get around them. And the boost gave us a little bit of a too much of speed. So that's cool. Oh, it's like you can't even handle how fast you go when you do use a boost. The track's too short for uh, taking advantage of that. Just get around this. Oh, backwards pop. Doing some flipping over there. All right, a little bit of a boost, and I hit the brake to slow us down, so maybe that's the uh, the way to do it. All right, we passed a few trucks there. Uh, things going a little bit better now. Last lap. Use the brake going around the bend. Oh, hit the brake going up the, the hill there. Kind of took away advantage. No, that's not what we want. That's not what we want. Yes, block. Block. Come on. All right, boost isn't working. I keep hitting the boost button and it's not working. There we go. Oh well, we got fifth. That's not a good showing. I don't think we're gonna place top three to advance. So we were fourth by one point. That's unfortunate. Uh, I think that might have been the end. Yeah, so I don't think we advanced there. So we'll have to try that again next time. Uh, I don't know what the green was there. Oh, looks like we unlocked the bus anyway, so that's cool. We unlocked sea lake, or Salt Lake City time destruction and two-wheel skills. Uh, the Crushmore circuit, which I thought we already had. Um, but yeah, so we'll have to try again next time to get past chapter two. I believe you have to place third or above. Uh, hopefully this was a cool first uh, look into the career mode for you. If you're, that's why you're checking this video out. And uh, thank you everyone for watching. Peace out.